What's going on, everybody? So I'm going to talk about Dante Bowie's recent post, right? And I don't care if people get upset, all right? The truth is the truth, and that's just the bottom line. Now, I've made previous videos about Dante Bowie. Me and him have talked, had a little conversation on Instagram and things like that. Uh, one thing that you should know is I met him, uh, you know, before. I've seen him face-to-face -face when he's traveling with Eddie James. Before any of y'all knew who he was, I had posted one of his songs before his music really took off, and he hit me up, man, thanks, bro, thanks for the love. So this ain't hate, this ain't clout, this is just the truth. And this is one of my pet peeves in the kingdom. It's the same thing when I made the video about Chandler, uh, Chandler Moore bending his wife over on Instagram, right? What happens is if you go look at the comments, these people represent the kingdom to millions of people. They get millions of views because God has blessed them with a wonderful voice. They can make wonderful music, right? But the problem is your good voice, your good preaching, I don't care how good you preach, how good you sing, that doesn't mean everything that you do is okay. You can see people sing good and just because they sing good, just because it looks like they're blessed, just because they got followers, millions of views, doesn't mean they're right with God. So in this particular post, you knowingly choose to post this with this song, you didn't even bother to put the clean version. It's got the cussing just right there. And here's the part, the part that bothers me. You look in the comments and you see these lukewarm baby Christians or these Christians who have been conditioned to follow this watered down American gummy bear Christianity. They say, uh oh, here come here. The Christian police are about to come. Like, like they, they, they're on some new level of, of understanding, right? So when I come and I make this video, they say, I'm just radical. I'm just crazy. No, the Bible says, be ye holy as I am holy. Holy. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care who it is. I don't care how much talent they have. That is not holiness. And the reason it's a problem is because if you represent the kingdom and you're in that position, the Bible says to whom much is given, much is required, right? So you sit there and you knowingly post this and you've got all kinds of different levels of people following you. A lot of people are going to look and say, oh, well, I, I, it's okay for me to cuss. Because they look up to you, so they're going to stamp off on, on whatever you do. Oh, well, he listens to that kind of music. Well, I guess it's okay for me to listen to that kind of music. But the problem with that is there's demons, uh, de demonic influence in music. There's witchcraft in music. You've got to guard your ear gates. you got to be careful what you listen to. you got to be careful what you watch. So some baby Christian, not even just a baby Christian, somebody listening to that, knowing that there's demonic stuff in the music industry. And you put that stuff out there. See, the problem is with American Christianity, it's all about business. It's all about connections. It's all about trying to be cool. And we've gotten away from standing on what the word of God says. And we've got these watered down, gummy bear, lukewarm Christians who have went to the forefront and been the face of Christianity to the point where, oh, I, why would I want the Christianity that Brother Marcus is preaching about when I can still be just like the world and I can listen to worldly music, I can still go to the club, I can still drink, I can still cuss and call myself a Christian. Even though the Bible says that they're going to say, Lord, Lord, I did that. Lord, I, I made all these great albums. I did all this preaching. He'll say, depart from me. I never knew you. Just because somebody is singing. See, that y'all got to separate the difference between someone when someone's flowing in the gift Flowing in talent and actually flowing in anointing. Anointing destroys jokes. Talent will give you goosebumps. That's why Beyonce can sing and people get goosebumps. But y'all get so mesmerized by the gift or because somebody prophesied and read your address, you just assume they're right with God. You just assume I'm a, the Bible says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So let me say this for those of you who look up to these individuals, be careful. Be careful that you don't emulate and follow the behavior. Work out your own salvation with fans from This ain't no hate. This is love. We need somebody to speak the truth like this. And I'm not the only one. I know things that God has shown me in the spirit about some of these individuals that I'm not going to say on this video. But through their behavior and the things that they post, it continues to just be proven true to me. Let's pray for them. Y'all be blessed, be encouraged in Jesus' name.